Hello awesome student! Let's learn ionizing and non-ionizing radiation in 3 minutes. Here are some of the things we are going to cover in my class. By the end of this video, you should be able to determine ionizing radiation and non-ionizing radiation. What is radiation? Radiation is energy emitted from a body or source that is transmitted through an intervening medium or space and absorbed by another body. You are always surrounded by radiation. It's everywhere, even in the banana you ate this morning. Radiation moves through space as waves and particles. Non-ionizing radiation has longer wavelength and lower frequency with lower energy, while ionizing radiation has short wavelength with high frequency and higher energy. One of the most interesting things is that the visible spectrum is essentially the divide between ionizing and non-ionizing radiation. Non-ionizing radiation Non-ionizing radiation refers to any less energized electromagnetic rays that cannot ionize atoms or molecules. It doesn't have sufficient energy to break the molecule bond and ionize atom. Examples of non-ionizing radiation are radio waves, microwaves, and laser. It might harm your eyes and skin, for example, sunburn. Non-ionizing radiation comes in the forms of extremely low frequency, radio and microwave frequency, laser, infrared, visible spectrum, and ultraviolet. Ionizing radiation Ionizing radiation refers to electromagnetic rays that have enough energy to ionize atoms or molecules. It has enough energy to break the electron bonds to atoms or molecules, thus forming ions. Ionizing radiation is emitted from radioactive atomic structures as high-energy electromagnetic waves such as gamma rays and X-rays or as actual particles, for example, alpha particles, beta particles, and neutrons. Gamma rays and X-rays penetrate the body easily, while alpha and beta particles are essentially blocked by the skin. Gamma rays and X-rays need to be stopped by lead, while beta particles can be stopped by aluminium and alpha particles can be stopped by paper. Remember, the dividing line is the amount of energy the radiation carries to remove an electron from an atom or a molecule. Please answer these questions in your exit ticket. Thank you.